Deputy Hayden, 30 seconds to put your question. Well, here, look, uh, Minister, the voluntary sector plays a key role in our delivery of health and per personal social services around the country, as you know, and the origin of many of these was at a time to provide a service when the state did not. Um, the value of their contribution is immense, uh, but with such a different a set of arrangements, uh, all formalised at different times in the state's history, um, you know, it is right that we review and look at uh, all of those relationships that we have with the voluntary sector, the very key role they play, um, and that we uh, make sure that those relationships are fit for purpose into the future, providing the very best service for all of the range of service users. So it's just to talk about the review. Uh, that was carried out Minister. the independent review and uh, the recommendations and the implementation thank of them you, there. Yeah, I want to thank Deputy Hayden for the important question. Um, the report of the independent review group established to examine the role of voluntary organisations in publicly funded health and personal social services was published by me in February of this year. It makes 24 recommendations covering areas such as the governance of voluntary organisations, dialogue, engagement and contractual processes between the state and the voluntary sector, ethos, asset ownership and public capital investment and broader issues related to health system development. These recommendations are grounded in two key overarching findings. First, the report recognises, as does the Deputy, the important contribution that voluntary organisations make and concluded that they should continue to play an integral role in the delivery of health and social care services. And second, it found a high level of mutual interdependence between the state and voluntary organisations and it called for the development of a stronger relationship based on trust and partnership. I fully agree with and endorse these findings. Voluntary organisations do have an important role to play in the delivery of our health services and I have already signalled my commitment to further strengthen the relationship between the state and voluntary organisations. But I also think I have an important role and the government has an important role and the Oireachtas has an important role in setting out policy. So it is that relationship that has to mutually respect the responsibilities of each other. As a first step, I have been given approval for the establishment of a new dialogue process between my department, the HSE, and other relevant health agencies and representation from uh, voluntary organisations in the health and social care sector. This was a recommendation in the report. My department is currently designing this process, including the